Hello, I'd like to welcome you to Lecture 1, Introduction to Attitude. Now, for this particular segment, we are just going to do a brief introduction of what an attitude is. Now, there's so many things that can be talked about with an attitude, and it's just quite fascinating that there's so much stuff. But what we're going to do today is just give you a brief, brief, brief kind of introduction to the attitude and what it's kind of about. If you look on the left of the PowerPoint slide there, there's some objectives. Please, pause the lecture briefly and just check it out. Start some critical thinking because after you're done with this lecture I'd like you to start discussing some of those concepts that I've listed on those objectives in the discussion section of our class. So, check out those objectives, get those brains geared, get it cranking, and let's begin. So what is an attitude? Well, like I wanted you to kind of think about, you know, all heard the phrases like, watch your attitude, and whoa, you were born with that attitude, and oh, that didn't work out. So, what is an attitude? Well, an official definition that scholars have comprised, according to my own Olson, is that attitude is a learned predisposition to respond favorably or unfavorably towards some attitude object. Hmm, it's a nice definition. Let's break it down. Let's break down the definition. First part of the definition, attitude is a learned predisposition. So that learned section, pretty much what that says is that attitudes are learned. You are not born with an attitude. You don't just have an attitude. You have to learn it. This is accomplished through culture, personal experience, media, family. You're not born with it. You have to learn it. Now you may be thinking, oh, but I always had this. Well, you can't remember everything how you remember something, you know what I mean? You could be a youngster, you could have had a learned reaction to that particular instance, and that's how it developed. The point is, is attitudes are learned. Now let's talk about predisposition. Well, let's first define predisposition. It means to proceed before the behavior occurs. Some reachers call, call it the precursor to a behavior. So it's that section before you actually do a behavior. It's that precursor reaction in your mind. That's what I want you to think of it as. Also, I want you to think of it as a mental shortcut. Think of it just as when you look at something, you instantly have something in your mind, you just can't explain it, that split-second thought process and your reaction to it. That's what a mental shortcut is, and that's what an attitude is. It's a mental shortcut to that particular object or whatever phenomena that you see in front of you. Now let's look at the respond favorably or unfavorably towards some attitude object. What's that, what, that, what that is saying is that you are responding to an object. And of course it either has a bad response or a good response. You either like it or you don't like it. And that's what that part of the definition is about. Now that I gave you one particular scholarly definition, and we talked about it, it is now time to talk more about things, 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 and the functions of attitudes. Really what the functions of attitudes are is just the categorization of things, things, things. I mentioned many different type of things just previously, and now we're going to give you official categories to go along with it. These are the first three official categories developed through research. This was developed through around 1960. There are more categories that gets developed later, but since this is an intro and our time is not that unlimited, we will just go through this basic three things. First one is object appraisal that deals all about objects, the clock, the clock, the lamp, whatever it may be, it's any kind of physical object like computer. You know, have a reaction. What is your reaction to regarding to a computer? Negative? Good. What's your mental shortcut, your attitude? That's object appraisal. Second one is social adjustment. This is all about people. When you see a person how do you feel about them? What is your mental shortcut of that person? What's their attitude? So social adjustment deals with the people and externalization deals with the self. It's your attitudes about yourself, the mental shortcut about yourself. I'll give an example for this one because it's kind of confusing. Say you take a test and have a really bad experience with the test. Oh jeez. All of a sudden now you hate tests. The next test that you view is just, oh, I hate tests. That is an attitude, that is an externalization, that is a mental shortcut in how you view about test. So those are those three categories called functions of attitudes. I'd like you to continue on with the discussion post after this lecture. Thank you very much for listening. See you again.